the first wicket and 92 for the fifth wicket. Good night. Welcome to Highlights and Sri Lanka recovering after some very hesitant middle order batting with uh, Tilakaratna on 43 batting extremely well and Liana gave giving him very good support. Of course the batting held up by Mahanama and Ranatunga yesterday. That's a very good delivery from Owens to start with at Liana Gay. Gained height just outside the left handers uh, off stump and Liana Gay drawing away from the line in difficulty getting away from it and here's Sua. Goes to Tilakaratna and he drives firmly off the front foot through cover. That's a good stroke to start the day for Tilakaratna. And that brings him his fourth boundary. That was a long chase there for Brea Hartran, but he won't make it. So Tilakaratna on to 47. Sua into him. Balls and that ball away from the left hander. Was fishing for that one. Sua pitching it well away from the line of the off stump. And Tilakaratna really not behind the line of the delivery, playing it away from him. Lucky not to have got a touch. Then again, taking strike from Murphy Sua. Up to him, balls, a good delivery. Outside the off stump, committed the batsman to the stroke. And once again, beating the batsman, but uh, not finding the edge, through to Parore. Sri Lanka looking for a consolidation from the spare. Excellent batting conditions at the SSC. The next ball, he edges it and it's through to Parore. Umpire Samarasinghe has no hesitation. Sri Lanka lose their seventh wicket with a total at 316. And that particular delivery just outside the off stump and looking for the big drive. Lienge edges it through to the wicket keeper and a seventh wicket partnership that realized 30 runs coming to an end and the 40 minutes at the wicket for Lienge. The new batsman in is Don Anurusari playing in his 13th test match. Big responsibility for him, but Owens into Tilakaratna, drives through the covers. That's a good-looking stroke from uh, Tilakaratna. He timed it well, should reach the boundary, but there's a long chase there for Hartland, but he won't get to it. And that's Tilakaratna's half-century, his third in test cricket, and coming at a very crucial time with five boundaries. The next ball shot, and beautifully back at by Tilakaratna over Pringle delivery, well collected there by Owens and sends in a good return. Sua into Don Anurusari. The field coming in. Balls and a good delivery and a loud appeal there as Jones collects at Silimidov standing back. But umpire Sound Singer not interested. That delivery almost on the block hole and probably Anurusari hit it to the ground. Of course, uh, Jones diving forward, he collected it. The ball may have hit the ground before it went there. Good decision. And here's the New Zealand captain, very concerned. Owens into Don Anurusari. Up to the good balls and got away from the line of that one, but not very effectively though. He held his bat under that delivery as it gained height. But in the end, Owens getting the major honours as he bent his back on that occasion. The partnership uh, looking good as Anurusari struggles and survives. Tilakaratna drives Owens through the covers. That's a good stroke there. Time to 12. Good shot. And that should bring him another long boundary. But uh, Hartland on that occasion gaining ground as the ball was hit to the longest part at the SSC. Batsman completing three. So Tilakaratna in great touch. He's on 57 now. Owens into him. Bowls and again shot outside the off stump. He cut it well. Four runs to backward of point. And that is the stroke uh, Tilakaratna plays very well when he's in very good touch. And he is in good touch now. Short outside the off stump. Ideal height. And a diving Jones at Gully won't reach it. That was struck well. The ball speeding through onto the boundary on that occasion. So Sri Lanka prospering. And Tilakaratna with his seventh boundary has moved up to 71. Bradburn to Tilakaratna given a lot of air and driven beautifully through mid off all along the ground. And Tilakaratna is very good touch now. And that brings it his eighth boundary, that next delivery. Coming back to Andrusari off Pringle. That came a long way, kept low. 
and very lucky not to have hit the stumps and uh, clearly beaten all ends up down under the city. Well ball Pringle. Richter deserves much more figures than that as he is into Tilakaratna once more. Ball swim turned away on the onside at mid wicket is Bradburn. He picks up and returns. But Tilakaratna is back. Good call there from Don Anusari. And uh, 350 of the innings coming in 111 overs or 485 minutes of batting. The ball turned away by Tilakaratna. But uh, he didn't see the danger as uh, Bradburn moved in very quickly to mid wicket from square leg. Sent in a good return to Parore. But Tilakaratna well sent back in on time. The next ball over pitched, uh, driven firmly on the offside, well fielded by Hart, by Harris there at cover. Pringle pass more turns and this one very well turned away to fine leg, should be four. Yes it is, long chase there for Owens, didn't get to that one, so that's the eighth boundary there for Tilakaratna. The partnership looking very threatening indeed. Bradburn into Andrusari, plays forward defensive offering his front pad, a loud appeal there but uh, umpire Soundsing are not interested. The ball in line with the middle and leg stumps, probably missing leg as it turns slightly away from the right-hander. Next ball, flighted and Andrew said he drives firmly. That was a very loose delivery indeed, going down to the cover boundary and just stops inside it as the batsman completes three runs and a long chase there for John Wright. And that was the total. 361 for 7 and uh, Anrusari now it is on strike. Murphy Sua into him. Balls full toss. Weaver delivery and uh, probably missed at uh, Gali there. Sua a full toss well outside the line of the off stump. Anrusari playing it away from his body. It flew to Gali and a splendid effort but in vain by Andrew Jones. Bradburn into Don Anurusari. Balls and uh, he lofts that one. He really came down the track on that occasion. Didn't quite hit it. Owens the fielder at mid on. Two more runs to Anurusari takes him up to double figures. Bradburn into Tilakaratna and he swings him beautifully wide of mid on. Going down to the boundary. No stopping that one. And that's four. So Tilakaratna in very good touch and a pretty loose delivery there from Grant Bradburn. Now by Samarasinghe kept quite busy. Tilakaratna very sensible batting indeed. And this is a new Sri Lanka record against New Zealand for the eighth wicket. So well played Tilakaratna and Anurusari. Swa into Anurusari and he drives firmly off the half volley on the offside. Ball running down to the boundary. No stopping that one. Four runs. The second boundary there for Don Anurusari. Opening up now. Gaining in confidence. And Harris to Andrusari. Full toss once again. Well fielded there by Murphy Swa. Very athletic indeed. And he's been one of the better fielders for New Zealand. Harris bowled just one over yesterday. Gave away 12 runs. And once again another loose delivery outside the off stump to Andrusari on that occasion. Didn't really get all that hold of that one as Swa fielded excellently. Bradburn into Anrusari, offers his pad once again, no danger there, and here's Tilakaratna, his top score in test cricket now, the next delivery, he cuts and he's gone, taken by Parore, that's his fifth victim and the first time he has done so in test cricket, and Bradburn picks up his second wicket, and that was very unfortunate indeed for Tilakaratna, that was away from the left-handers off stump, he really went after it, and he was out batting for 332 minutes and hitting eight boundaries. He really kept that innings together and a very enthusiastic crowd sees Mutaya Muralitharan, the only change in the Sri Lankan side from the first test, coming in to face Bradburn. Pretty confident start there for Muralitharan as he comes forward and drives. Right the fielder, no run. So Sri Lanka having consolidated and Owens into unnecessary balls and he loves him straight to the fielder there no mistake that time from Sua and that's the ninth Sri Lankan wicket down and a top score of 24 there for Don Arnusari he has played in 13 test matches and made his highest score in test cricket 24 runs including 
two boundaries and he batted for 134 minutes and what a way to go and the uh, last man in for Sri Lanka is John and the Barnavira Owens into him bowls and he drives firmly on the offside not a very convincing stroke but he's off the mark that's important with Grant Bradburn now bowling to John and the Barnavira bowls and he loves him that's in there maybe runs for him at uh, mid wicket and he collects two runs. He moves up to three. Total on to 393 now. This ball he drives and he's gone, taken by Martin Crow. That's his first catch in Test cricket in Sri Lanka on this tour. Not the pitch of that ball. He really came down the track and played up easily. He's looking to clear the top, but played instead straight to Martin Crow at cover. Held on to a very good catch. He must be quite pleased with himself and that's the end of Sri Lankan innings with the total at 394 and very economical 13 extras by the New Zealanders. 631 minutes of batting of 129 overs and all out 45 minutes after lunch on the second day. And Owens bowled extremely well, his best test figures of 4 for 101 and well supported by Bradburn taking 3 for 134, also his best. And the Sri Lankan innings really built around Hashan Tilakaratna in the latter half as Sri Lanka come out with New Zealand having to bat 65 minutes approximately for tea. And Sri Lanka will be looking for a quick breakthrough, Heartland and Wright, the New Zealand openers. Tulip Lianage opening the attack for Sri Lanka. We have a delivery. Sri Lanka would do well to bowl well at the New Zealand batsmen to make them play. A good delivery that almost had him clean bowled. And New Zealand well on its way. Then again, into uh, the ball wrapped on the pad, allowed a bit, but umpire Anandapa not interested. Then again, bowled that one in line with the stumps, probably missing leg stump, and Gurusinga opening the attack. Balls to right, and he plays that stroke very well indeed. Back to the point four runs. So that's the first boundary for Wright and New Zealand. And Gurusinga has now opened batting for Sri Lanka, kept wickets, and finally opened bowling. And he may have very little other test players having done all those for their countries. Lenege, the fielder. As we see the action replay, Gurusinga digging that one in, and Hartland not right behind it. No danger in being bowled, but not a very convincing stroke. Gursinger into right, drops it short outside his off stump and beautifully played through cover point. Murindaran gives chase. Will he get to it? No, he won't. And uh, that's right, second boundary. And he played that one very well indeed. Right uh, batting with a lot of confidence in the total 22. Hartland giving right very good support. Mahanama, top scorer in the slips. John Anusari into the attack. And the next ball driven on the onside. Long chase there for Chantika Hathur Singer at mid on could reach the boundary four runs. That's Hartland's first boundary of the New Zealand innings. Here's Chantika Hathur Singer into the attack. Bowls to John Wright, and that's through Gursinger. That was not very good cricket. Down to the third man boundary for four, but the Gursinger should have taken that one. Off an edge from Wright, who didn't get right to the pitch of that one, and the line, and the ball ballooning away from Gursinger's hands. Hathur Singer into right once more. Plays defensively, allowed a feel, but uh, umpire not interested. Ball in line with the stumps. Right, well forward. Jan and the Varnavira. He could be the danger. Balls to John Wright. And that ball is left to the batsman and he's adjudged out. So that's the first wicket down with New Zealand on 57. John Wright, the batsman out, he was trying to take his bat away from the line of that delivery as it turned sharply away from him, outside the off stump. Umpire Samar Singh had a good look and considered that appeal very well, and that's John Wright on his way. He was out for 29, and the new batsman in is Andrew Jones. Varnavira into Heartland, and Gursinger takes a brilliant catch. He didn't wait for the umpire's decision. Well taken there, so New Zealand lose their second wicket with the total at 60 in the 24th over. And Hartland batting for 118 minutes hit one boundary. Varnavira giving that ball a lot of air on that occasion. And the ball going to Gursinga on the second attempt. Safe hands on that occasion from the Sri Lankan closing fielder. Hartland did not wait for the umpire's decision. So that's a good breakthrough there. 
and Sri Lanka striking and striking well after tea. New Zealand were 42 without loss at tea, but this is very good cricket. And both wickets to Jan and the Varnavira. Some sustained bowling from him as the New Zealand captain, not in very good form, comes into the middle. Murulgaran bowls to Martin Crowe. Bowls, press along the line, he bowls! That one right through Martin Crowe. He couldn't believe that one. And out with the total at 63 for no score of the second delivery. And that's the bowler's second over. And Muralidharan is excited. You couldn't have asked for a better wicket on this test match for Muralidharan bowling only his second over. Played the wrong line. The ball turned so much. And if he could turn that much on the second day, it could spell danger. And the new batsman in is Ken Rutherford and New Zealand in a spot of bother. Rutherford, the informed batsman. And Varnavira up to him. Balls. Awkward delivery there. Could be out. Caught. Yes, he's gone. Silakaratna takes a brilliant catch there at forward short leg. One-handed and Rutherford departs as the second New Zealand batsman out without scoring. 64 for 4 into 28 over. And Varnavira striking quite well. Got that one to nip off the wicket very hard. It gained height and Rutherford in a lot of difficulty. And Hashan Tilakaratna holding on to a brilliant catch there. He dived full length was anticipating and very good reflexes indeed. The ball ballooning, both hands to it, but an excellent catch in front of Aravinda De Silva. So New Zealand in trouble, 64 for 4. And Rutherford himself was in a lot of difficulty there. The ball awkward bounce in front of him. And the new batsman is in is Chris Harris. He's been one of the New Zealanders in good touch. Bats up to Varnavira. Loud appeal from the bowler, and umpire not interested. Burlidharan bowls to Jones, he swings him, past Tilakaratna, and Lienage, the fielder, sends in a good return. So Jones, the last of the recognised batsmen of New Zealand, having a lot of work to do. Harry Harris edges it, back foot of point, Lienage once again the fielder, he's off the mark. New Zealand still not out of danger, and this could be a very good tussle in this test match from here onwards with the spinners taking over. The wicket expected to turn. Sri Lanka is doing extremely well. This is the 40 second over. The ball running down to back of the square. Murlizaran is there. He comes in very quickly. Picks up and returns. That is coming for the second. The wicket is broken and he's given out. Run out there by umpire Anandappa. And that's the fifth New Zealander out with the total at 88. And New Zealand in deep trouble. Harris battled for 56 minutes and he was run out for nine. Excellent cricket there by the Sri Lankans on that occasion. That ball running back to the square and Murlitharan came in very quickly. He covered a good 15 to 20 meters. He was in and picked up that ball like a flash. Sent it a good flat hard return to Garmini Vikram Singer. And he had the bails off in a flash and the batsman reaching desperately and umpire not hesitating to give him up. The new batsman in is Parore, the wicket keeper. And that ball turned and turned as it gained height. And Murlidharan really a very good turner indeed. The next ball very loose with Sri Lanka attacking. There's no fielder there. A good stroke there from Parore. Down to square leg for four runs. So he's off the mark. And that move could be very good runs there for New Zealand. Panamira balls to Jones. Plays it away very sedately. Back to the square. Long chase there for Lenege. Picks up and returns but two runs to Andrew Jones. So he's up to 20. The next ball played Abishli. He's gone. Beautifully taken once again by Tilak Ratna at forward short leg. He was not to the pitch of that one. And he batted for 98 minutes and did not hit any boundary. And out in the 12th over of Jananda Varnavira. He was not to the pitch of that one. He was always in two minds playing it. And look at Tilak Ratna. Excellent reflexes from him there at forward short leg. First he moved in the wrong direction, then diving full length, a superb left-handed catch there from him. And that's the fourth wicket there for Jananda Varnavira, and that's his test best figures. Excellent effort from the Sri Lankan bowler there on that occasion, helped by some marvellous Sri Lankan close catching. The new batsman in is Grant Bradburn. New Zealand in deep trouble. 97 for 6 in the 45th over. Didn't know much about that one. 
So the Sri Lankan bowlers really giving this ball to turn and Parnavira a sustained spell and splendid figures. Really worked out, very economical and a good strike rate. Udlidharan into Parole balls. And Tilakaratna now diving at almost anything within his reach. That's his inspiration. Udlidharan up to Parole once more. Cut back a long way and he's given out LBW. The seventh New Zealand wicket down there with the total at 99. And he was there at the wicket for 22 minutes and scored uh, six runs. And Murlidharan carrying his uh, second wicket in the 11th over. That ball came a long way from well outside of stump. And he has the ability to turn almost at right angles. Mutaya Murlidharan. And that's the second wicket. Almost a similar delivery as Martin Crow got. Only on this occasion, Darore decided to play back. And as you could see, the ball coming a long way. Parodic clearly beaten. He was nowhere near connecting that ball with the bat. So the new batsman in is Murphy Sua, as New Zealand in deep trouble now.